there must be as many ways to photograph a landscape as there are landscapes to photograph. Everyone is different. Landscape photography is more than photographing your local surroundings, which in some quarters is thought to be easy, because it is static and it won't run away. Much of its success is to turn up at the right place at the right time, a hidden skill that eludes many photographers. The photographer needs the right sort of sun. Therefore, a knowledge of weather patterns is just as important as photographic expertise. Another quality is patience. This is only two-thirds of the answer. The remaining one-third is knowledge of location. Otherwise, it is like trying to photograph darts without understanding the choreography. However, with landscape photography, there are elements beyond the control of the photographer, where success can even be down to luck. The best landscape shots are on your doorstep, but that could be difficult if you live in a large town or city. I live on the North Downs in Surrey, about 600 feet above sea level. Nearby and within walking distance are Coulston and Kenley Commons. And when the weather suddenly improves, I drop tools, grab the camera and head out. Here are a few shots taken over recent years. Landscapes miles from Surrey pose different challenges beyond photographic expertise. You may plan a day out. I run photographic holidays, but we are stuck with the same problems. Weather and prior knowledge of the place that is important for composition. At worst, it could be pouring with rain. And whilst we could pontificate that landscape photographs can be taken in any weather, if we are honest, it is hardly going to make a rewarding photographic experience. It can be a wonderful experience when the unforeseen happens at one brief moment. When recently I led a photographic holiday in Shropshire, the time and date for our visit to the Stiper Stones was set in, yes, it was set in stone. I was able to delay the shoot until afternoon, but the weather was no better. Resolutely, the group finally set forth. And then, as if by magic, just as we were thinking of retreating, there was a sudden break in the clouds. I have walked the Stiper Stones many times, so I knew where to stop. Furthermore, on another visit earlier in the year, that presented similar problems. Now that experience was absolutely invaluable to us now. Guaranteeing good weather is difficult and when it works other people have the same idea. My work often takes me to Craven country in the Yorkshire Dales. Courtesy of a HF hotel at Ayrton, I have been able to access the stunning delights of Manon Cove, sometimes with my photographic group, when hardly another soul is present, and even on good photographic days. It is the nearest I get to living there. I can arrive at viewpoints denied to me on a day trip. One thing you learn through experience about this very popular corner of the Dales, and that is forget weekends. It is far too busy.
It is important knowledge like this that establishes the real landscape photographer. As for technique, well, I shoot on aperture priority most of the time at f8 or 11 with a zoom lens over the mid-range. I spot meter using the electronic finder, underexposed by minus 0.3 EV, keep the ISO at 200 and then save to RAW and adjust in Lightroom. I don't take anything else. See my photo sound bites for more information about technique. But this is not enough. Equally important is research and understanding weather patterns, even if it means just listening to the weather forecast before leaving home and then perhaps deciding that it might be best to do a shoot somewhere else. The so-called golden hour has become a cliché, when in fact you can experience it most of the time from November through to February. A photographer who understands basic photo technique and other factors related to landscape photography should be able to take a decent image at any time of day and month at the right time and in the right place. That is the real craft of landscape photography, not sticking to well-worn patterns started by others which then everybody follows. In preference, don't just join the queue.